Hi guys, it's Rafael here from You Moving Abroad and as promised last week, this week I'm going to be talking about pets. I know how sad it can be when you're going to move in another country and you have a pet in your country. Because when I left Brazil 12 years ago, I had a cat and I had to leave my cat behind. When you move to another country, you should be checking the laws and the types of contracts if you're going to be renting a room or a flat. You need to be aware that in the contract says if you can have a cat or not. Not just a cat, obviously a pet. Some people have dogs, some people have birds, some people have iguanas, some people have all sorts of pets. So you need to make sure that you are allowed to have it. The reason why landlords do not allow pets in the properties is because normally they can damage the property. How, you may ask? Well, imagine that if a dog pees on the carpet or a cat, especially cats pee, if it gets in the carpet, it gets really smelly. So for that, sometimes cleaning the carpet is not enough because it goes through the wooden board underneath the carpet. The cost of replacing the carpet, it's very high. That means that you're going to have to pay for it. And if you're renting a room, sometimes you don't pay a lot of deposit and the landlord will have to pay for that damage. What I'm saying here is, as much as I understand that you'd love to have your pet with you, you need to take in consideration that you're going to be using someone else's property and it's not fair for the owner of the property to have it damaged because of your pet. It's quite tricky, it's a tricky situation, but since the landlord uh, or the owner of the property is going to be the one who defines the rules in that sense, you really need to be aware if you can bring your pet or not. If you are European, you can obviously take your pet with you, but you need a passport, so you should be looking into that before you travel. Um, I've, the first time when I found out that you know, dogs and cats need passports, I, th I thought it was quite funny. But it's, it's a, a good way to find out if the animal has a disease. So in Europe, because rabies is, you know, no longer exists, if you're coming from any country outside of Europe with a pet, you need to make sure that you do all your research to find out what documentation, what vaccination your pet will need to have in order for you to bring your pet with you. So don't forget that wild animals are not allowed. I'm not a specialist in this type of law. I know a little bit because I looked into that at some point. So I advise you to really look into uh, the laws of the country where you're going. So if you're going to Germany or if you're going to South Africa, make sure that you look uh, the, the, the laws of that country and look at the types of contracts, do your research, types of contracts for properties and what they allow and what they don't because the pets will be one of them. I hope I have helped you here once again and if you have questions don't hesitate to send them to me on the email showing below and don't forget have a nice trip.